today we are looking at this little pin holder that we 3D printed. You can find the 3D print file in the info box below. I also designed these small uh, ball pins or pin whatever pins and um, I printed those on my resin printer and now I'm just painting them. Uh, these are painted blue and I also painted a few of them in black. Then I have this silver ink and I'm just painting this little um, clip there is on the pins in the silver ink. And that's all there is for the small pins. Now let's go to the pencils. For that I'm using my Dremel and I am placing a toothpick into my Dremel. Um, and I'm making sure it is good and tight in there. Then I'm starting it on a low setting um, and I can sand it into the thickness that I want it to be. I got the thickness that I want. As you can see, it's around half the size as it was before. Cut off uh, the end that it did not um, get sanded and I'm sanding a um, pointy tip on this end because I don't want the point to be too pointy so I'm just sanding it until I have a point that I really like and I'm using a black paint just dipping the tip of the point in there to get um, the little um, lead thing of my pencil and I am doing it a little more than one centimeter long and there you have some small pencils. Then you can go ahead and paint um, the pencil itself in some color, red, yellow, blue, whatever color you like. And I'm just going to do that here first, one end and then the other end of the pencils. And that is all there is for the small pencils. I think they came out pretty cute. Here they are. Then I have a print sheet in the info box below and I am going to cut everything out here. A few of the details I'm going to glue onto some cardboard. Board. I am using some green here but you can use whatever color you want. And I have this double-sided tape that I like to use. So here on the rulers, I'm just putting the double-sided tape on there and then gluing them onto the cardboard. Sorry that it is off screen. Here you go, like that. Then I am going to take this little front for one of the small notepads. Again, just putting on some glue there and placing it on top of the green. And then I made these writing pads or uh, yeah, whatever you call those where you uh, can put on your table and then you can write on that so you don't write onto your table. I am putting uh, some tape over the top of all of these before I cut them out so they have this plasticky look. And here we go for the rulers. I'm just cutting them out very carefully. And this way we will get some nice rulers that we can put into um, the little pen holder as well. Here you go. There we have one ruler. And then I'm just going to cut everything out like that. Uh, and again, you will find the um, print sheet in the info. The front that we placed on the green um, cardboard and putting them together with a few of the pages and I'm clamping them together like that and then I am going to take some of my paper glue or wood glue here and I am taking a toothpick and carefully putting glue here on top 
of the little notepad and then I'm just gonna leave it to dry and you have a small notepad. I'm going to do the exact same thing with the green notepad. I am lining them up, clamping them and gluing the top together. I found these small notepads a bit too long, so I'm just taking my ruler and cutting off a tiny bit of the uh, length of these so that they are a little smaller. And here we are going to make some erasers and I'm using some translucent white and some opaque white and this uh, blue colored clay, rolling them out in a thicker setting, placing them together as you see here. And then I'm just going to cut out uh, the thickness or the width, I think that must be, of the um, erasers. Like that, and then I'm just gonna cut an eraser one at a time. Around the same width. And here you have a ton of small erasers that just need to be baked and then they will also be done. And here we have everything, the little pen holder, some of the small ball pens, the pencils, the uh, rulers, I have a few of those as well. Then we have the small notepads here, we like those as well. And I have the erasers. Now you can just put everything together just like you want it to. Uh, the little pin holder might be a little too big so you could resize it a bit so it's a little smaller before printing but I actually think it comes out really nice and oh I forgot the uh, placemat or what you call that so I'm just gonna take that right here there we go so that's everything for today thank you for watching and I'll see you tomorrow happy crafting